theorem 332 quotient rule if f and g are differential are functions differentiable at x and gx is not equal to 0 then f over g is differentiable at x and the derivative f of x over gx is given by gx multiplied by f prime x minus fx multiplied by g prime x this is divided by gx all squared so here derivative of f over g will be g f prime minus f g prime divided by g x all squared here the order is important first you need to differentiate f then you multiply by g minus f multiply by the derivative of g divided by g squared هنا الترتيب مهم لما نجيب الderivative من الكوشنت رول لازم اول شيء الderivative of f نضربها في الg minus derivative of g نضربها في الf ونقسم على الفنكشن g all squared the proof of this function will be in the same way once we prove the product rule we assume our g is equal f over g then to find g prime x we need to use the definition so limit of gx plus h minus gx over h when h approach to 0 now we will go to the function gx plus h we will replace any x by x plus h so it will be f x plus h over gx plus h minus g of x will be fx over gx and we divide all by h so here we need to multiply this one by gx divided by gx multiply this one by gx plus h over gx plus h this will give us gx multiplied by fx plus h minus f of x multiplied by gx plus h all divided by h gx plus h uh, multiplied by gx for this one also we will add minus gx f of x plus gx f of x so we add the same term with negative and positive so that's mean we add just zero so here we have minus gx f of x plus gx f of x then we will take between these two terms the first and the second term will take g of x as common factor so we left with fx plus h minus from here we'll take g of x we left with f of x and we divide this function over h minus between these two terms also we'll take f of x as a common factor so we left with gx plus h minus g of x from here we will take minus f of x sorry not f of x so from here if you take minus g minus f of x common factor you left here with minus g of x and if you take from here minus f of x you left with gx plus h so that's why here we'll get gx plus h minus g of x divided by h and all divided by gx plus h over g of x from where we did this at h because here if it is divided by h g multiply g h x plus h g of x we can take the numerator over h all divided by g x plus h g of x now limit of we can distribute the limit for g of x distribute the limit for fx plus h minus f of x over h minus limit of fx multiplied by limit of this one which is gx plus h minus gx over h and also we distribute the limit for the denominator so it will be limit of gx plus h multiplied by limit of gx and we take the limit when h approach to zero because we assume that the limit is exist so limit of gx will be g of x limit of this one fx plus h minus f of x over h when h approach to zero it is the derivative so it will be f prime minus limit of fx will be the same which is because there is no h here so it will be fx limit of gx plus h minus g of x over h this is just the derivative of g prime and here limit of gx plus h it is just g of x because h is equal zero so this will limit will be gx this limit will be gx so gx multiplied by gx this will give us gx all squared so this is the proof of the quotient rule so here we have example number four differentiate y is equal 3x squared minus 1 over 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7 we need to find the derivative using this quotient rule so first we differentiate 3x squared minus 1 then we multiply by 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7 
So this is 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7 multiplied by the derivative of 3x squared minus 1 minus. The derivative of this one, 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7. So the derivative of this one multiplied by the numerator and we divide by the square of the denominator. So this one will remain the same because we don't differentiate this one. Just we need to differentiate 3x squared minus 1, which is derivative of 3x squared will be 6x minus. 3x squared minus 1 will be the same. Then we need to differentiate 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7. So the derivative will be of 2x cubed will be 6x squared plus derivative of 5x squared will be 10x. Derivative of 7 will be 0. And all divided by the square of the denominator. Now just we need to multiply this one by 6x minus multiply this bracket with this bracket. The final result will give us minus 6x bar 4 plus 6x squared plus 52x divided by 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7 all squared. Here we have a quotient and product rule. So example 5, find the points on the graph of y is equal x squared plus 1 multiplied by 2x squared plus 1 divided by 3x squared plus 1 where the tangent line is horizontal. So since here it says that the tangent line is horizontal, that means the derivative is equal to 0. So we need to use the quotient and the product rule to find this derivative. So let us find the derivative of this function. So since here we have x squared plus 1 multiplied by 2x squared plus 1 divided by 3x squared plus 1. So we first we differentiate x squared plus 1 multiplied by 2x squared plus 1. We multiply by 3x squared plus 1. So 3x squared plus 1 will be the same. We need to differentiate this one minus. Then we will take the derivative of 3x squared plus 1. We multiply by the numerator. So this will give us x squared plus 1, 2x squared plus 1, multiply by derivative of 3x squared plus 1. Then we need to divide by this one squared. So this is divided by 3x squared plus 1 all squared. So here we have 3x squared plus 1 will be the same. Here we use the product rule. So we differentiate first 2x squared plus 1 will be 4x multiplied by x squared plus 1 plus. Then we differentiate x squared plus 1 which is 2x. We multiply by 2x squared plus 1 minus. x squared plus 1 will be the same. 2x squared plus 1 the same. Derivative of 3x squared plus 1 will be 6x. We divide by the numerator squared. So 3x squared plus 1 all squared. Now we just we need to simplify our function. We multiply x squared plus 1 by 4x plus 2x squared plus 1 we multiply by 2x. Then we multiply all this bracket by 3x squared plus 1 minus. Then we need to multiply x squared plus 1 multiply by 2x squared plus 1. And the result we multiply by 6x. The final result will be 12x bar 5 plus 8x cubed divided by 3x squared plus 1 all squared. So until now, we just find the derivative. The question said find the tangent line where it is horizontal, the point, where the tangent line horizontal. That's mean where the derivative is equal to 0. So that's mean dy over dx is equal to 0. We take the numerator and make it equal to 0. So that's mean 12x power 5 plus 8x cubed is equal to 0. So we take x cubed as a common factor. It will be 12 x cubed multiplied by 12x squared plus 8 is equal to 0. Either x cubed is equal to 0 or 12x squared plus 8 is equal to 0. So from here, 12x squared plus 8 cannot be equal to 0 because we have here uh, x squared is equal to minus 8 over 12 and we cannot make any number. When we squared any number, the result cannot be equal to 0. So, so just the result or the tangent line is horizontal when x is equal to 0. That's mean y0 is equal, replacing any x by 0, so 0 plus 1 multiplied by 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 1. This will give us it is equal 1. So the tangent line is horizontal when x is equal, when x is equal 0 and y is equal 1. For the example, هذا بنجمع بين the quotient rule and the product rule. إنزين هل ينفع أن أضرب القوس الأول في القوس الثاني وبعدين أستخدم the quotient rule أيوة يصير. أو ممكن أن أستخدم the product and the quotient rule بنفس الخطوة. فأول شيء بجيب the derivative مال هذه أضربها في 3x squared plus 1 minus the derivative of 3x squared plus 1 بضربها في the numerator. طبعاً هنا سوينا اللي هي الخطوات. 
هنا بعد ما اجيب الديريفيتيف للنيوميريتر طبعا لازم استخدم البرودكت رول مره ثانيه يعني انا اول خطوه استخدمت كوشنت رول الخطوه الثانيه استخدم البرودكت رول بتوين ذيس تو فانكشن بعد ما استخدمت الكوشنت والبرودكت رول اذا لازم اسوي سمبليفيكيشن السؤال يقول find the point where the tangent line horizontal إذا معناته أجيب الديريفيتيف لما تساوي الزيرو متى أي عدد لما يكون عندي بولونوميال تساوي زيرو إذا معناته اللي موجود في البسط هو اللي يساوي زيرو إذا 12x power 5 plus 8x cube is equal zero أخذ x power 3 عامل مشترك يبقى عندي 12x square plus 8 is equal zero إذا يا إنها x cube is equal zero أو 12x square plus 8 is equal zero x cube is equal to zero إذا معناته تعطيني x is equal zero بينما 12x squared plus 8 is equal to 0 that's mean x squared so minus 8 over 12 مستحيل أي عدد أجيب التربيع يطلع للناتج بي النيجاتيف فالحل اللي موجود عندنا فقط اللي هو x is equal 0 إذا بجيب النقطة بعوض في المعادلة الأصلية يطلع عندي النقطة 0 and 1